Look, my friends, there is a huge snake. I'm terrified of snakes. But today we're in Gelda Terraristitsna. This is an exposition in Krakow where, according to the website, you can find different animals such as spiders, chameleons, geckos, turtles, praying mantises, and of course, snakes. So we're here and we're going to try to find out what animals we can see and if it is possible to interact with any of them. So let's get into that. The cost of the entrance is of 18 slotties and it's 12 slotties when it's reduced. Now, this is an event that is happening in Krakow. It's already the second event, but there are still some events that will happen still this year in 2023. And I'm going to show them now on the screen so you can see. And if you're interested in this type of animals, you can also attend to one of these events. Next to the animal, there are a lot of people, but here we can see that they're the thing that you can buy in order to decorate the place where you're going to have your animals, such as coals, you have rocks, some kind of eggs. There is a coconut right there, and this is something that is a Mexican Aztec thing. I'm not really sure what that is. I know for a fact that it's from the Aztecs. And in this place, you have some small rock caves where the animals will be able to hide themselves. And here, there are some coconuts which have the same function as those rocks, but the difference is that they cost eight slatis, which is equivalent to two years. But in Guatemala, when you go to the beach, you're going to be able to find them for free. Did you know that chameleons can turn their eyes whatever they want to independently? That means that they almost have a vision of 360 degrees. That's the type of vision that you get when you're trying to copy during your test. And did you know that there are different species? You can find ones that are the size of a thumb and others that are the size of a house cat. I've always been impressed by this type of animals, which can change color. Okay, so now we have here isopods. Now these animals, as you can see them here, are very colorful. They are born between two to three millimeters and then they can grow up until they are this size. You might think that they are tiny, but I mean, they grow a lot. They serve two purposes. The first one is, of course, to feed other animals, such as geckos. They are also cleaning your tank. If you have them, they are going to be cleaning the dead insect, cleaning fungus. And that's also another good reason for you to have these animals. And this one specifically is mostly common used as a pet. Tell me, would you interact with this type of animals? Would you, would you like to have them in your hands? I wanted to interact with animals today and at least I have these tiny insects in my hand. And here we have the praying mantises. These are really tiny animals right here, but they can grow up until 14 centimeters. I've seen videos online, animal is eating a lizard and that for me is impressive we have a type of praying mantis this one is incredible for me because you can see it looks like leaves i cannot see any difference how difficult it would be for the predators of this animal to spot it in the wild now it's interesting to know that they're kind of seasonal is what they explained to us meaning that they can live up to one year i was seeing that he is able to make them like kind of fight when you put your hand in front of them Look, it, it's just like a stick. I mean, imagine the predators trying to spot this in the wild. It would be just very difficult. As you can see, this small thing right here, it looks a part of the tree that has been damaged, but they lay their eggs right there. So the predators are not going to spot it because it just looks like it's a piece of a branch that is just without skin. And out of these, there are even 40 that can be born. Make sure that when you come to Poland, you eat Ossipki because it's fantastic, delicious. It's um, mm, 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 mm. what is Ossipki? Grilled goat cheese with cranberry jam. Fantastic. Sadly, so far we haven't been able to interact with spiders or snakes, but I don't give up. So we're going to keep trying to see because it's about time. They close in 50 minutes, so maybe someone will let me.
this is the closest I will get to the spider. There is a barrier between the spider and me, but I can see that this spider is quite hairy and colorful. Please let me know if you are a fan of spiders or if you would like to grab a spider on your hand because I wanted to grab one with my hand today, but sadly it's not possible. Why Gilda Terroristina? Why is it not possible to interact with the animals a bit more? Look, I'm so happy because at least I was able to interact with a gecko. These animals are super common in Guatemala. You can find them even on the houses, of course, not this type, but you can hear them doing and they communicate and a lot of people are scared of them because they are fast and they make these noises but they help cleaning the house because they eat other insects they eat cockroaches and other insects that might not be very nice to have at home and they help and there is a gecko on a disney series which was called brandy and mr whiskers this gecko was called gaspar the gecko let me know if you watch that series Look, my friends, there is a huge snake behind me. It was outside a moment ago. I'm going to show you the video of it. But I do feel a bit nervous because this one is really close to me and it's cute. But I keep insisting the fact that there is a barrier between the snake and me. It, it doesn't allow me to experience them completely. I hope there is a place and if you know about a place where I can go and interact with these animals, please let me know in the comments because even though I'm scared, I would like to try and overcome the fear one time. And something that is possible to do here is to buy the animals, the snakes, the spiders, the chameleons. And this guy who is behind me right now is buying a spider, but it's an already adult spider because it looks huge and they are getting some kind of present also because they are buying the spider and apparently there's some kind of paperwork that they have to do because I just thought that you could buy the animal then that's it but no they have to get some paperwork done tell me would you buy a spider and now it's time for us to go for some food because we're starving I'm so happy because we were able to make it to ramen people for the first time we've been here a couple of times not exactly into this place because there is a pizza olio next to this place which is also very delicious but especially in this place there is always a long queue and today there were just like four or five people waiting so we were lucky and then we were able to come really fast but now that we're sitting we have already ordered we are seeing that the queue is so long perhaps 20 25 people are waiting outside what did we order today by the recommendation of the waitress and ramen it kind of rhymes it is a bit spicy i do eat spicy food not a lot so we're going to see how it tastes if you saw a video of me last week you can notice that it's the second time that we're eating ramen and you might think well they love ramen and to be honest we do but we don't eat that often we wanted to come to the pizza actually and we saw that this place didn't have a lot of people so we took advantage and we went for it We were told to mix everything well and we're about to go for it because we're starving. We're waiting such a long time. Wow, it's spicy. I think it's gonna be a bit of a challenge for me today to eat with these chopsticks because they are a bit too long. Oh my god, people, it's a bit spicy, but oh my god. We were last week or two weeks ago in Tadara Sushi. Maybe this one is better. I want to say that the experience was nice, but I think it would be very nice if it were possible to grab the animals and experiment with them. I know it could be difficult because there's a lot of people and it could be dangerous in some cases, but that's something that I would definitely like to do. And so, as I mentioned earlier, it is still possible to go. You can see here. And let me know in the comments if you would visit this place. Thanks a lot for watching. Make sure you hit the like button and subscribe. I'll see you on the next adventure.